Has this ever happened to you? You just want to take a drive on a lovely fall day. You sit in your car and sit down your morning timmies. Start your car and fumble for your phone. Now you have to find the right cord. What a tangle. It's going to take hours to sort this out. Oh no, you dropped your phone. And now there's spilled coffee everywhere. Even more spills trying to untangle the cords. Such a hassle. Now you have to find your phone under the seat. And the USB cords, how do they even work? They never fit right. Even after all that, the cords get everywhere. And now your car is on fire. There has to be a better way. Hi, I'm Joe from A Smarter Home Canada. It's almost Halloween, so that means everybody's going to be talking about these Gobi Christmas lights. Not me. That can wait until December. Today we're stepping a bit outside the house and we're going to take a look at the AA Wireless for Android Auto. I have a Honda CRV with Android Auto, but to use it, I constantly have to plug my phone into the car. For my phones, I use a small magnetic charger that just goes into the USB-C port, and then I have a magnetic cord that just connects right up. Now these cords work great for charging your phone, however they cannot handle the data transfer needed to run the Android Auto. That's why the AA Wireless is a little easier for me to use because I don't have to keep unplugging my USB port. Guaranteed you're going to end up dropping this someplace and you'll never find it again. So let's head out to the car and get this all set up. One final step, and this is completely optional. I just have some double-sided Gorilla Tape. There is no adhesive on the backing of the device. Stick it on the back. That way we can just attach it to the car easily. To install the device, it's as simple as taking your USB port. You'll want to connect it to the device port. Peel off the back of the two-sided tape. Attach the device so it's just nicely out of the way. First thing you're going to want to do is download the AA Wireless app, install. Should only take a second, it's about 30 megs. So a very quick install. Once that's done, you're going to hit open. That'll bring you inside the AA Wireless app. You're going to allow it to connect to the nearby devices. Press get started. Make sure the wireless Android Auto is clicked over and then start the car. Wants you to plug in your phone to ma and make sure that it is on the file transfer, then press next. Make sure your phone is plugged in and then you're going to hit Android Auto button on the head unit and press next. We're all connected up through the wire. So the phone will work with the head unit. Next step is to unplug your phone, plug in to the dongle, press next. It's gonna search for the device. Hello. Once it finds it, this is the AA wireless device here. You're going to hit, just click on it. There we go, press pair. Now it's going to go into launch mode, which is just connecting your phone up to the AA wireless device connected to the head unit. There we go, up on the screen. I have it set to automatically open, and now you're ready to go. Hit finish, set your country, in this case I'm Canada, hit save, and done. Close that and put your phone back away. So as you can see, a very quick, easy setup, very simple, and you really only have to do that once. It runs just as fast through the AA wireless dongle as it does being directly connected in. You can make your phone calls from here, YouTube music, your map function, which is what I use it mostly for. But now I just have to step in the car and everything is good to go. I installed the device with the light up. That way you can see the connection status of everything. If you do get any connection errors, you can see what's going on by the color of the light. The green flashing means that it's connecting up. The blue means that it has connected. 
So I really like this device. It's simple. You only have to set it up once and it just automatically works. As soon as I turn the car on, my phone gets connected, my podcasts start playing, and my map comes up for work. Also, a couple of weeks ago, the price dropped on it. I believe the new price is $69.99 on Amazon.com. So if you are in Canada and ordering one, unfortunately you cannot get it through Amazon.ca. You either have to go to AA Wireless directly or to Amazon.com and you will have to pay some import fees on it, unfortunately. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, like and subscribe. Click on the beaver. If you didn't, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home trying to make it a little bit smarter and having some fun while doing it. Thanks for watching.